called him. I said, man, I thought yeah, man, man, we was there. Salute to KLC, I think, man. I think we came first, then. Yeah. I called him. I said, Kale, what you doing over there? that was my game fucked up. <laughs> I ain't got no friends. And I done spent my last $70,000 on a drop top uh, Benz. Uh, and I'm a trill nigga. nigga. Known to put the 45 to, to his heel figure. figure. Lay it down, motherfucker, because I'm busting for mine. Man. Got that out of time, and I ain't trying to die. Niggas, niggas down in Port Arthur. My nigga, Still what? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Give me the quote from your best Pimp C song. You gotta do it. Oh, my God. Yeah, they say you know all of them. Oh, I yeah, talk I Yeah, people. Carlos said that. Uh, Carlos said that. Yeah. You make him do it. I, I get him. I don't know. That's a that's a loaded <laughs> question for me, man. Uh, he said he knows every still, single still song. Probably still Pimp C, bitch. Yeah. So what the fuck is up? That's Putting powder on the streets because I got big fucking nuts. Just got back from Louisiana in the Fleetwood Lack. I just served them niggas some shit to put their fingers on their back. Got the pounds going for four because you know I just paid two. Mm-hmm. Nigga bought 30 from me, so I fronted 42. Mm-hmm. He going to probably sell them 100 times. 62, 24, 8 is what I get, so nigga, fuck what you do. That man. one, um, man, um, man uh, gripping grain, switching lanes, selling cocaine out of candy thing. Jamming Lil Wayne got a trunk of bang, cause I'm a hot boy, I'm like a hot flame, and my hoes pay me just, just like baby. baby. That's on. the only way they can lay me. Uh. Niggas who slugs, but they ain't graze me. And niggas be jump mad, that's I know so. Uh. Gripping grain, switching lanes, selling cocaine out of candy thing. Jamming Lil Wayne got a trunk of bang. Man, 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 I can keep man. going, man. Is there a song you don't man. know? It's hard to find one that I yeah, don't, don't know. know. Yeah. There might be ones that I don't remember like that off the top of my head, but if I hear it, I can rap it. Like yeah. that's who play all the Pimp C songs around you. He did everybody, playing. man. He like did. I said, I grew up in a household with, and, and I'm from DC. Like Go Go music is hell of heavily influenced by rap, but it's just flip. You know, what I mean, you hear a lot of Go Go songs. Like you will hear, you know, the original songs that they came from. So one thing that I used to do is when a Go Go song would be made or something I liked, I go find the original song, and that's what turned me on to a lot of the music that the old guys with the older guys would listen to in dc like i said we were able to take a lot of that influence so the south is because we ain't we ain't north enough to be from the north we ain't south enough to be in the south so we like right there in the middle so we got it you know what i mean from the we got the influence from the new york music and the west coast music and the south music so i just was influenced by so much and music was such a big part of my life because like i said i didn't have my dad so a lot of that time that i would be looking for you know, uh, uh, influence, and I just listen to music, and, and that would just, you know, give me something meditation. to do. You know what I'm saying? It was meditation for mm-hmm. me, so that's why I love it so much. What about Louis? Go ahead. How go ahead. old were you when you figured out, or when you said, you know what, I think I'm funny, or I think I like comedy? Man, I've always been entertaining. You know what I mean? I don't know if it was always funny, but I've always been somebody that was, and I've been speaking publicly since I was literally four years old. I did a speech on Frederick Douglass when I was four years old That's and won cool. a comp at, no in DC and won a competition. I was too young Frederick to win. Douglas. Yeah, on Frederick Douglass being an abolitionist. Yeah, I still got the cassette tape to this you day. You already find a four year old that know anything about yeah, that. Yeah, oh no, that's I've always been public speak. Like whenever in DC public schools, it, whichever one I went to, whenever they were trying to find a nigga to speak in front of some people, they was coming to Where get did you Anthony get it Bean. From? I don't know. Your mama was like that. No. I don't know if my daddy was like that either, but I got it from somewhere. I don't know where I got it from, but public speaking has always been something I've done. So I've always been somebody that entertained, but funny, I didn't realize I was funny until I got into college and started hosting step shows. And Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? I think one of the biggest laughs I had got before I became a comedian, I was hosting a pageant for the uh, the Alphas and the Deltas had a pageant together. And uh, I had pronounced cello cello because that's what it looked like to me i was like yeah and he plays the cello she was like cello i was like yeah that's what it say she's like nigga cello i was like oh what nigga that ain't what they know h in that bitch (laughs) yeah you know what i mean and that that was just naturally natural but my man jerome salute to him he was like man you should do comedy and i went to the comedy zone they had an open mic every first and second thursday of the month i went there first thursday watch everybody bomb I was like, well, I can at least do this bad. Yeah. And I went back the next Thursday, did four minutes, got off stage, my feet hit the floor. I was like, oh shit, this it. This is what I'm supposed to be doing. Wow, I've been doing it ever it. since that day. Wow. Let me ask you this, and, and I'm gonna close it off with this. Louisiana, um, um, you said Louisiana was a place where you liked the artists mm, from. Mm. Uh, who was who was your favorite artist down there? And 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 like, 
Cause you mentioned it early, and I heard you say, "Oh yeah, what was the what was it? Who was Master P in my top five? That's the hustler, baller, gangster, cap pillar. Who I be? Your neighborhood drug dealer. My personal top five P is in my personal top five. I remember my my man Matt, uh, brother. You know what I mean? Had the the biggest collection of music that you can ever have. And I remember the first time I heard Swamp Niggas. I had never heard nothing that sounded like that before. Jumped in my cousin, rolling on switches. Gold day shining down south, feeling bitches. At that young age, I was like, we all was like, because it was about 10, 11 of us down there. We would just wait till he leave and just listen to all his music. So, like, Swamp Niggas, like Master P, and then, you know, Cash Money, Birdman, and, 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 you know, the, the, the big timers, like when I first heard, whoa, 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 keep my sabe, like. Like just that sound of music, like I said, I'm from DC, so we heavy percussion, you know what I mean? The socket, the pocket, all that shit. So the, the New Orleans, like to me, New Orleans is the DC of the South. Mm -hmm. Like the culture is the, the, the same in regards to the way that the cities are set up, that since I've been able to go in and just entrench myself in New Orleans culture, like that's the closest city that I've seen to the way DC niggas are is New Orleans niggas. Like, what about so, a player from the South Stack G? Oh yeah, I mean, Can't come on. eight on that hoe, man. I mean. I mean, come on, man. I <laughs> mean, see, you gave me free for every. Come on, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean, I mean, just Pips, one of my, you know what I mean? And that other one, uh, uh, me kick and though. KLC. Uh, kick, me and uh, KLC talking uh, about kick that. Though, you KL know what made I mean? that, you know, he be on, he talking about making man, that beat kick, a, though. I know I had that. That's the song he, he, he told me to do the drums on. Was that the guy? Yeah. I think that's the one. That's that, the, one? that was the one? I'm about to pull yeah, Hey, you got love from the South. <laughs> That's it right there. Oh my goodness. But it's your time now, baby. We're going to have it. Ah, bitch, I'm playing, man. That bill, man. For my how long you, how, did you see him when he wrote that? Or, or were you, was that a process where you was there? Or? Yeah, I was there. Yeah, I met KLC. He came to yeah, the show when, I was, oh, when, when I was in yeah, Dallas. Yeah, 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 he came to the show. Yeah, I was mad because I called him. I said, man, I'm going to be Yeah, man, we salute there. to KLC, man. I think, I think man. we came first then. Yeah. I called him. I said, KL, what you doing over there? that was not the game fucked up. <laughs> I ain't got no <laughs> friends. And I done spent my last $70,000 on a drop top oh. Benz. Uh, and I'm a trill nigga. Known to put the 45 to his heel figure. Lay it down, motherfucker, because I'm busting for Mine. Got that out of time and I ain't trying to die. Niggas, Niggas dying and pulled off, but still what? taking the plan. But 17 times to make them feel what I'm saying. UGK and C murder. Go got on. a lag in the tank. Make oh. it fade to platinum. Smoke some dank and some drink. Your bitch love me when I come to your city. Man. Take my dick out of pussy and bust Man. my nuts on the titties. Oh. Oh. It's just a matter of time before I'm up in your, your house. house with my mask on my face and my thing in your, your mouth. mouth. Man, man, stop man, playing. Listen, that's man. That's PFC, man. Boy, I'm talking you about. You were hell on them verses, boy. Boy, I mean, for real, bro. <laughs> you having a problem I going mean, in that listen, real. man, that nigga pimp, man, and then t once I learned he was making all them beats man, like that. Didn't mess up. I was like, yo, this yeah. nigga was really, yeah. and then you know it was him singing on a lot you of them hooks. Mm -hmm. It was like, oh, this nigga is amazing, man. Like, I was so sick when he passed away. Like, man. Do you I was believe so he sick. passed away the way how they said he passed away? Uh... I don't know, man. I, I, you know, it's that's a hard one because if you talking about outspoken, that dude was like, one of my favorite interviews ever. Is that yeah, one? Man, when I get off the plane, <laughs> what time is it? It's Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> We all know Atlanta side. We need to start acting like it's the side. That's my nigga, man, when man. I tell you, man. And you already know. You know who got caught down there. And the, man, listen, like you that dude. You want to play him in the movies, too? Yeah, yeah, man, look, I, that's a role. Let him tell me. Listen, you going to go in. Yeah, I'm telling you, man. Hey, you know so what I mean? Hard, my luck there make me bun, but I'm cool with that, too. <laughs> You know, I be bun too. I know yeah. how to do that. You know what I mean? You talk to bun, you be like, this nigga got a doctorate somewhere. When oh, you yeah. hear yeah. like that man is Give me so his intelligent. Talk, he he talk talk like school. Like, on, like, like bun him, just sounds like an educated professor. Yeah. He was like, when I first met him, he was like, Chico, how you doing? Nice to meet you, man. I was like, <laughs> nigga? <laughs> Is this the same nigga that made? <laughs> God damn. Now they got me, me running from the feds. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I'm like, well, all right, you know. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.